China-born Bin Shi and Tony Jiang are both artists. Like many, they started from sketching as the first step. Both are trained graphic designers, but a chance encounter with the owner of this busy Auckland studio led them to a career most Chinese wouldn't even think of. Practicing on the canvas, not many artists dare to touch. The human skin. They're what you call tattooists. Um, it's actually quite a different job. Um, it's actually quite free, and but that's I think that's my dream job actually, and um, um, it's actually related to what I'm doing before because I've been to, uh, like doing designs and drawing for a long time. I was um, learning quite a lot like oil painting stuff and sketchy and then color painting, and uh, I was doing graphic design before, and uh, I met Sean in the shop like a couple of years ago. He did my first tattoo. I was quite interested about tattooing and uh, later on I just asked him, yeah, can I do more tattoos? We'll maybe work for you guys? Yeah, I said, yeah, why not? Let's do it, yeah. Their employer, Sean Oliver, says it's a hard industry for anyone to get into. Ben and Tony just happen to be in the right place at the right time with the right skills. Uh, both of them are very talented artists so, and they apply themselves, they try and try and try and they get better and better and better and that's really important in this industry, you have to do your best. It's a very important thing is like um, you have to be really good at drawings, doing the art on somebody else forever and it's going to stay here forever So and you make money from that which is really cool and you see the, the job they've done on somebody. That's a very cool thing, and you can see it straight away. When I join some place, I always think about how get something different on your body, get more interest, especially some customers seeing your, seeing your drawing. It's all oh, so surprised. Yeah, I love that feeling. Wen Shen, or tattooing in ancient China, was originally a means to punish and identify the outlaws. More recently, it's seen as a symbol of gang affiliation. Considering this background, it is hardly surprising that Tony advises her Chinese customers not to tattoo in obvious places. Even now in China, um, the people over there like, are still quite conservative sometimes. When people see your tattoos, they're not really happy with that. Um, so if I got some young customer come in who is a Chinese or I would probably ask them, will you stay here for long or have you got any residency, something like that. So if they, like, they don't have it, I probably would suggest them to put the tattoo in somewhere, like, which is quite, like, you can actually hide it. In this day and age, it's all changed. The, the, the old style of gangster tattoos, it's long gone. Um, it's more of a fashion trend and, a, and a, an art form these days, more than a, a gangster statement. In fact, many people now ask for custom-made designs no other individual will have. This requires ongoing communication with the artist to come up with a design that best represents the individual. And the process could take anywhere from days to weeks. It's oh, sometimes a bit personal. Sometimes it's just some kind of like, oh, some, I got some customer actually come in and just get something done because it's pretty, looks good on them, and I got some customer can in just do something like um, quite personal stuff, like it's somebody's name or something like that. It's a dragon, uh, it's an eastern dragon. It's going to protect me in some way, I don't know, yeah. But it made me feel powerful. For a sophisticated design, the job may take several sessions to complete. It's 22-year-old Troy Beckroff's fourth visit to Ben and he still needs to come back for more etching before finalising this very personal design on his skin. Um, the feature is just all Troy, all like, it's supposed to be um, Achilles and Hector, it's, you know, the battle for Troy and the horse and stuff like that, and then the outside is just, it's, um, it's, I don't know, it's just like a background, just fades off. It all goes together with the theme. I think if, I don't know, you kind of have to see a lot of tattoos to appreciate the shading and just to find details and things like that, that Ben's kind of got down to a fine art. But, um, I don't know, it's quality, I mean, it's going to be on you forever, so you'd rather have someone that knows what they're doing and takes pride in their work. 
art it is, but one that gives no second chance. You should get something different for each one, you know, you can't get the same thing. If when you're working on the street, you say, oh, he got the same title like me. It's, oh, it's bored, you know, get something creative, get something maybe crazy, yeah, I like that. When you design something especially for that person, and they, when they like it, and you'll be happy because you know it's gonna on their body forever, yeah. And they're gonna remember you, which is quite cool. It's rewarding, it's creative. Both Ben and Tony hope their passion for their art will last as long as the indelible marks they make.